my best running partner was a dog and then he died. So I bought a new dog to replace him, a Labrador, and I gave his name Seth, means replacement. And he was supposed to be my running partner, but he had like hip dysplasia and he was good for nothing except for loving you. I had the unfortunate task of picking up his uh, poo on the grass and I never enjoyed it. But I tell you, after he died, the week after he died, when I was supposed to mow the lawn, I had to pick up his last poo and I tell you I did it with a sore in my throat because it reminded me of Seth and I was just thinking of all the things that we did together and that's the reason why you take photos that's the reason why you take videos of your family of occasions because you want to recall it you want to recall those memories because there's more behind that videos and that photos than just the video or the photo. If you look at this jewelry uh, over here in the tray, it's two of Karin's friends. One is Hanley and the other one is Marisol and they gave it to her and every time that she's wearing it and even the cross that I showed you earlier, she's thinking of these persons mentioning their names. She can see the person behind that, that uh, jewelry. And it reminded me when I visited Karin the very first evening, she at one stage quickly went to the bathroom and I saw her photo album, so I opened it and stole a photo for myself. The next day I made a photocopy of it and I faxed it through <clears throat> to my friends and family saying this is the girl that I'm going to marry. She didn't know it at that stage. I only told her later on and after we got married, that photo, I placed it next to my bed and it's still there. Because every time that I look at that photo, it reminds me of how we met. All that beautiful memories are replaying in my mind, in my heart. And it's so nice. It's really so nice. And I just caress those thoughts about her. And sometimes when I do the washing, yeah, because I know it's my wife's clothes, I will just smell it, just to smell her. Because behind that smell, behind that clothes, is my wife. Sometimes when I just want to walk down memory lane, I will play a song because that song will remind me of my wife, who I dearly love. And I spoke to a, a lady who told me, you know what, my husband, she said my husband had this thing. He was always leaving his toothbrush. The way that he rinsed it and then it was wet in that area and his clothes, he always threw it next to the bath. She said, we regularly fought about it. So many times. She said, you know what? Since he died, those are the things that I miss the most. We bought a new doggy and I tell you, our house is in, in, in constant chaos and it's nice to know that the dog is alive. So we tolerate it. Instead of having everything perfect, um, the same way that you've arranged it 500 years ago, because there's no life in the house. I prefer life. If you come and visit me, you can sit with your feet on, on the chair. It doesn't matter. And just like that, Jesus wants us to see him. He told us every time this cup, the moment that you're going to drink from it, this wine, think about the blood that I've shed for you. The price that I paid for you. The bread that is broken. It's like my body that was broken for you. Think about me. 
as a person. And is it not nice to think about him? Whenever you read scripture, you can see this person because the whole scripture is about him. And faith is to, to make contact with this person. It's a trust that you've got in this person. Everything is about him. It's not wishful thinking for um, a certain way that, oh, I must just believe that I will win the lotto and then I will do it. And it's such a, a pity that we have all these prosperity preachers in America preaching, if you strongly believe, God will pay you to serve him. That kind of thing. People, it's such a pity that we've went so low. There's a verse in Lamentations saying, how the gold has lost its luster. Even the finest gold has become dull. The sacred gemstones lie scattered in the streets. Because that instruments, that ornaments that God gave the Israelites to use in the temple for their worship. At one stage, they so totally forgot about God that they started to trade this for their natural value. They couldn't see the person behind these instruments anymore. A, a lady one day contacted us and she, her heart was broken because her husband took her wedding ring and he gave it in as a pledge to receive some money and he paid it for a prostitute. He couldn't see her behind that ring anymore. He couldn't see the value of this relationship anymore. My one son, he was a small chap. And we went to, to a shop. He told me he wants to buy something for his mom. And he bought, bought her a piece of glass. I tell you, it's probably not even worth a dollar in today's value. But when he gave it, it's a, a purple colored glass and it's cut like a diamond, big. When he gave it to my wife, she saw him and his thoughts, his heart behind what he did. And she's cherishing that stone up till today. It's valuable for her. Why? Because it's about this person. I just pray that you will not be like these prosperity preachers expecting God to give you money but that you will expect him that you will trust him to reveal more of himself in this loving relationship with him that's what it's all about it's not about gold it's not about silver it's not about those things. I can tell you the only reason why these things have value for my wife is because they are precious friends behind them that she sees every time she's seeing this jewelry or wearing it. I bless you in the precious name of Jesus Christ.